Hello everyone, it is I, JC again, and welcome back to another Poggin video. Today is a new year, and we're going to be going over all of Rec Room's greatest horror games of last year. Now, this may include some that were made at the beginning of the year, but shh, I will be making another one January of next year, going over all of the greatest ones of 2022. Now, Rec Room horror games are some of the most popular on the entire platform, and they're probably the most played community rooms out of all of them on the game. I don't know why. People like being scared to death. Anyways, these are my five favourite, or five scariest. This is, of course, in no particular order. Enjoy the video! Subscribe right now, or I will consume your mother! So, of course, we're gonna have the back rooms on this list. I think that the back rooms are kind of overplayed on videos and streams, so I wanna add some variety, which is why I haven't played it a lot on streams. But this is among one of the scariest games on Rec Room. With friends, it can be a bit silly and less scary, which is how I've experienced it, but while getting footage, I was playing it by myself and just hearing the constant hum of the lights, the dark yellow areas, the ambience, it, it just combined itself to make it one of the scariest experiences I've ever had. The monster is very scary because the face looks lifeless and just a bit terrifying. The way the body moves is, is unnatural and the sounds it makes are horrifying screams. While you're being chased by that, it is terrifying. With friends, sure it can be a bit silly and you can mess around, which will obviously take away from the scares, but I think any horror game that you play on Rec Room, if you're playing it with friends, it will obviously be a lot less scary. I highly recommend you play this by yourself if you want the scariest experience. I, I was actually shivering and looking around myself the whole time I was playing for this footage because I was I was genuinely scared oh and and what's more there's 11 levels of this 11 with tons of different areas monsters tasks to complete it's mental I've never completed all 11 levels but there's a lot of content in there to explore so go ahead and check it out do you copy is a remake of a PC game remade inside of Rec Room and it is very, very scary. While there are no actual jump scares, everything in the room is made super realistically and the mechanics work really, really well. Do You Copy is about you working at a forest watchtower on the comms for the night. And you need to watch over it and make sure nothing bad happens and maybe, maybe guide any lost visitors. And then you get a call on your telecom from a person who got lost in the forest and you need to direct him and he claims that something was chasing him which of course you don't believe at first but um, then of course in all horror fashion it turns out to be true. So you need to guide him to your watchtower by selecting out usually two options every time he, he calls to you asking which directions or whatever. And then some strange things will happen outside. You'll have to turn the floodlights on every so often, or you'll see some eyes staring at you, which are probably the most disturbing part of the room. You then see him get attacked by the monster, but claim it's just a tree falling over, or tell him not to worry. So he keeps moving on, he gets to your tower, uh, and then there's like a spooky sound, and then he says, you're going to die. And then that's the end. Very scary, great ambience, really well built, lots of detail, which just immerses you so much. You feel threatened, you feel scared, and you always want to check outside, but you don't want to leave your cabin. At least that's the experience I got. I did not want to leave the little cabin I was sat in, but I also wanted to check outside to make sure nothing was there. This is a very, very scary one. It's very short, but it's a really, really well created remake of the original PC game. This room has two modes, one player and two player, and there are four endings, which means there's a lot of replayability to it, so uh, play it four times, choose different options, and uh, enjoy being scared to death. Where did that light up? 
is one to play with your friends, Sewer Terror. Now, this game has a great intro. I love how it's just seamless, the doors open when the game start. It's a really cool open effect, and then you're just straight in. In this game, everyone is a player, so it's not like other multiplayer horror games where one person is the actual enemy. In my opinion, it's a lot better this way, it's a lot uh, scarier, because it's AI and not some random level 2 junior account following you. You need to find four buttons, and then you need to turn them to the other side. Once you get all four, you'll have about a minute or 30 seconds or something to get back to the main area, with this big frog thing chasing you really quickly. And when I was being chased by it, I don't get this a lot, with, with monsters on horror games, but when I was being chased by that thing, I was actually scared. It was quite a scary experience being chased by that big frog sewer thingy. And it's foggy, you can't see very far. It's It feels like a maze, and that really adds to the scariness, despite other players being in there. I feel like it makes up for it in that aspect, even though it, it may be less scary because there are other players in there. I think it's quite a replayable game. I actually found myself replaying it two or three times uh, while getting footage for this. And it's great, and if you want a horror game to play with your friends, this is probably the one that I would recommend the most, due to its fun aspect that allows for quick games and its multiplayer while still maintaining a natural creepy game uh, in itself. And to be honest, the creepiest thing I found about this game was actually the footsteps of the monster. You could just hear big, yet at the same time silent footsteps in water and it just, it was really, really creepy. I highly recommend this one. Look at that title, man. That's crazy. All right, flashback one, let's go. Give Me a Smile is more of a story-based horror game where you go through flashbacks and then nights. The flashbacks go over when you were a child, being bullied at school, and to what extent the bullies would go to just to make you feel bad, even hurting you and, and sometimes almost killing you. The nights go over the insanity that this torment as a child has caused. As each flashback goes on, it gets scarier and scarier and more disturbing, and you can tell that the character gets crazier and crazier each night. The flashbacks also get more intense. It's more of a darker and just s sad and emotional horror game, but definitely one that I thoroughly recommend you check out. Oh yeah, the further on the nights get, the game itself gets harder as well, so you'll actually be struggling for your life and terrified. So, you know, have fun scaring yourself to death. Contrary to popular belief, Not A Scary Game is a very, very scary game. It's one of those games that are quite popular on Rec Room, where it's this same hallway many, many times, yet things slightly change every so often, and sometimes there are big changes. And I hate these types of games, because you slowly go around corners and through the corridors, and it's honestly terrifying, and you don't know what awaits you in the next one and jump scares could literally just bounce out of absolutely nowhere and it's i this is probably the most i actually screamed out loud um recording for these before i was uneasy and scared on the inside but hit this game made me let out those screams <laughs> ah! oh my god i'm going to seizure and it really it, it it scared me! So, this is a very, very epic one. You can probably see some of the jump scares here, making my arms flail, and that means that I definitely screamed. Anyway, this is a very enjoyable experience, um, and I haven't included many clips because I don't want to spoil some of the horror for you all, but it's it's very, very good. Um, yeah, play play this one. In fact, play all of the games on these lists. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. This was the five scariest games on the list. Uh, now, here are some bonus clips slash boot bloopers. Enjoy. Hey guys, it is 3 a.m. right now. As you can see, right here, we are going to be talking to the ghost in our apartment at 3 a.m. 
This is this is not okay. Uh, oh my god! Oh, you scared the life out of me. No! Don't say hi after that. Don't you dare say hi after that. I hate it when I accidentally sit on my LED lights. <laughs>